guys welcome back to another m creator tutorial so today we're going to be looking at while loops which are a little bit different compared to the repeat loops uh, they are more condition based than actually being something that repeats statically but with that being said uh, you need a proper condition in order to make sure the loop does end or you will get errors uh, from basically at repeating and stuff it just doesn't stop so there's a few things that you need to take in consideration is like how many times that you want it to actually repeat um, you can use that in your condition uh, for basically telling it when it needs to stop and then inside your body here what you're, you'll need to do is set up your condition for or your actual uh, procedure for testing and stuff so we're going to basically create a really simple system for um, just testing how many times uh, there is something. It's always good to have a fallback uh, in case that there isn't a thing. You can usually set like a counter uh, system. Now this block also runs on uh, every, all. it runs the entire thing on one tick. So like the repeaters in the last week's video uh, there's going to be a lot of performance impact if you're not using it in the correct way uh, avoid using it on update ticks things like that and basically what we're going to do is we're going to just set this uh, value a little bit differently so we're going to test for each individual uh, distance uh, i'm just trying to figure out a way to show you how this is actually going to function because it's a lot harder to kind of figure out how to um, show it on a visual scale of how it's going to actually function and stuff. So what I'm basically doing is I'm trying to create a simple um, system where it's going to print out a message uh, to the player every so on so often. So basically every time that there is a condition that isn't true in this it's going to print it out it's also going to run a hundred times so it's going to only show us a few of the lines at a time so compared to the 100 times that it's running so that's the idea that i'll be basically be adding now i'm going to end the loop at here so you can basically run this part and it will continue with the next iteration uh, this is sometimes useful when you need a uh, condition inside and you might want to print something out like that. Um, for example, that might ha be handy when you need to carry it over and stuff. Uh, so as you can see, we got a number every, I think, 11 block or 11 times. So it increases like by 11. My math isn't that great, but uh, basically what it's going to do is it's going to print out the numbers out of the 100 that we selected, it's going to print out um, roughly 10 or 9 of them. So we can see them on the screen right now. Uh, if we change this a little bit around, then what we can do is we can go ahead and uh, adjust a few things. We're going to set it to 10 rather than 11, and or I think it's like 9 that we set it to. So uh, this is a little bit different. So it starts at 9, 19. 29 all the way up to 99 it's sort of working but again you have to play around with it a little bit uh, i'm not used to the mod block as much i know how to work with time and a few other things so in some cases you might want to just run everything um on a specific time period and then you could do something like a block or block right click or something like that so we'll do believe this procedure so basically when we right click on a block or player right clicks with item so basically we're going to go ahead and adjust this a little bit uh, we're going to go ahead and set some of these things we can break out of the loop in these particular blocks this will basically cancel it out so we're going to set this to like 20 or something like that maybe a little bit lower and we're going to test if it is greater than. So if it's greater than 20, then we want to break out of the loop. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and basically spawn a projectile or something like that. Something that we can play around with. So we're going to shoot a bunch of arrows. 
I think. And we're going to go ahead and set these to disabled for picking up and everything else should be set up. So we're going to basically do that with uh, a condition. If the player in their main hand has, we'll say a stick, and then what we can do is we can go ahead and use that same repeater system, that 100 repeater thing, uh, to increase basically over time. And then we're going to make sure that if it's greater than 20, so only if it that number goes over 20, will the script stop. So that will allow us to cancel out the repeat, the while loop, if we need to. So let's just test that out. And it looks like it does shoot arrows. Um, not entirely sure if it's just in the same spot or it does say that it's shooting out 20 of them so I'm not sure if this would actually be useful we can try this out looks like a whole bunch actually bounce back so it's quite possible there's 20 arrows in that group and only like one of them's actually hitting the <laughs> entity all right so let's um just test a bunch of this yeah, I, it, it's kind of unfortunate that not all the arrows does the damage for the amount that actually hits them. That's unfortunate. So let's just uh, double check here if that's... Yeah, there's definitely 20 arrows there. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, so every time that we've shot these, there's about 20 arrows on the ground. <laughs> so you can kind of see how there's so many there. And that's a good indicator that there's going to be a lot of arrows in that spot. All right, so let's go back into the code and we'll tweak this a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and set uh, the condition to and or. Uh, we're going to actually do an and and then we're going to set the uh, variable, we'll say a random number. Uh, this will allow us to alternate the blocks a little bit and we're going to do a number between 0 and 1. So it'll basically be, if it's equal to 1, then it will basically allow us to shoot the arrow. This will allow us uh, to basically shoot a percent out and for it to can be true. Other than that, it's just going to move on to the next loop. And what we're going to do is something like this with another repeater. A while loop in there and we can have another condition in there to basically know when to shoot the thing so we're going to basically keep that in we'll continue with next iteration there and then we can go ahead and set the percent so it's going to shoot a hundred times then it's going to count up that number and then it's going to test if it's a random number and then we're going to remove that and then it's going to print out the message, shoot the arrows, and then we're going to basically break out a loop if it's, or we won't break out a loop if it's uh, 20. So basically, I'm going to set the accuracy to something like 50 or something like that. I think I needed 50 later on just to kind of space it out more. But um, let's test this out. So yeah, definitely um, really good for shooting and stuff, so. Uh, still, again, if the the arrows are not exactly like, if it hits the same target, it's unfortunate because it won't deal more damage to them, but I don't know. It seems pretty good. Anyhow, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, while loops in the sum, uh, it's pretty simple block to work with, but it's more complicated than repeaters. Basically the same thing though, so... Um, not much different in that kind of aspect. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.